Hong Kong after handover for 20 years is still far away from stability and prosperity. On Wednesday, I got a text message from Joshua Wong telling me there would be an action that night. Joshua was the teenage face of the Umbrella Movement, which nearly three years ago put Hong Kong's struggle for democracy on front pages around the world. His message only told me to meet up at a bus stop. Other young activists joined at other stops, and out of nowhere, a policeman started following us. As soon as the bus doors opened, the activists hopped off. The statue represented Baohinia, the city flower for Hong Kong. It was a gift from Beijing 20 years ago when Hong Kong returned to Chinese rule. The police couldn't stop them as Joshua and several others quickly occupied it. The eyes of the whole world are focused on Hong Kong, ringed in on the mainland side by communist forces. In this British stronghold of the Far East, life goes on much as usual, but there's an undisguised air of tension. Hong Kong had been a British colony for more than 150 years. And had adopted Western-style institutions and courts. When Britain handed Hong Kong back, the Chinese government promised its way of life and values would remain, and that it would enjoy democratic elections and a high degree of autonomy. The principle is called "one country, two systems." But in recent years, many people, like Joshua, believe Beijing has broken this promise. Back on the square is a site popular with mainland Chinese tourists, and dozens of them now watch in astonishment. They had probably never seen anything like this. The protesters on the statue were shouting for democracy and the release of Liu Xiaobo, China's first and only Nobel Peace Prize laureate, jailed over his calls for a democratic China. He was released recently on medical parole. The government has heavily censored his name and references to his prize on the internet. After a few hours, they arrested and detained Joshua and 25 others. They were released a little over 30 hours later. What we ask for. Is democracy. President Xi should aware that Hong Kong people need election, and we need democracy. Instead of expecting a celebration, we were having a demonstration, and to urge the international community to know that Hong Kong is the only city to a certain degree of freedom to ask for democracy and human rights. The president continued his visits unaffected. He perhaps doesn't see any of the protests against his government from within a bubble of police protection. Local media reported more than a third of Hong Kong's total police force was deployed to protect him. Roads were closed and highways were paralyzed wherever he went, and there are no scheduled press conferences during his visit. Local reporters on the tarmac shouted questions at him about Liu Xiaobo, but he didn't respond. Maybe he couldn't hear it.